Hi, it is the end of April 2022 and I'm starting the garden video from my writing hut. It is just, everything has blossomed in the last few weeks and greened up as we've had nice warm days followed by a couple of rainy days. I'm so happy with the walking onions this year. Look at how strong they are. They're so big and they're spreading. They've started to walk. We've put several new ground cover plants in and everything else seems to be growing strong. This is the horseradish we put in last year. It's now actually several plants, so hopefully this autumn we can start harvesting. The camp food we put in last year is looking splendid. Look at these flowers on there. How pretty they are. And we'll cut it a few times over the year, two or three times, and use the cuttings as a compost, as a food for plants. My dandelion crop is doing very well. I have taken all the dandelion flowers twice now from the garden to make dandelion jelly, which is very tasty. The greenhouse is sprouting, or polytunnel, should I say, and under there I put that up so that the little seedlings would get light but not direct sunshine. And they are very happy under there. They'll soon be big enough to go out in the garden. The food bar patch is exploding. <laughs> And it's very tasty. We have plans this year to put lots more beans, peas, mange too in the garden because we may be away uh, certain times and it's good food for the soil if we're not here and for the birds. And if we are here then we will have lots and lots to eat. I've been preparing these little annual beds here and then recovered them with cardboard. There are onions in this one. All oh, the blossom here on the cherry tree. This is our little tiny cherry tree. Just always has lots of blossom. And this is our larger cherry tree, which never has really done anything. But this year it has had lots of blossom. Although most of it, oh, I don't know if you can see any under there, has gone over now. The gooseberries, black currants are just looking so good this year. I love how the tulips have come up in the wild flower patches around the edges and of course they'll spread and there are lots of wild flowers coming up in the uh, patches that I scraped. <laughs> Hopefully they're the tall ones in the middle. I've prepared this patch for vegetables 
and there's onions in this patch here. Sadly, it doesn't look like the two grapes have survived. Over here is my aqualegia patch and they are preparing to flower. And of course aqualegias are edible so it's another, another crop there. I'm loving this tree. It grew at the back of the garden and when we cleared the back of the garden to put the polytunnel in we found it as a very small tree it's grown so much, we obviously found the perfect place for it. We've extended our dead hedge and are slowly filling it up. But there are lots of plants growing at the bottom and hopefully they will weave their way through. Currants. And I've been picking the leaves to make blackcurrant tea and also to put in salad. The flavour from the leaves is so intense. I have put some tadpoles and some pond snails into the little pond. But I have seen the snails, but I haven't seen the tadpoles. But yesterday when I walked past, something shot across the pond. And I'm wondering if there's perhaps a frog in there, or perhaps there is um, a dragonfly larva, which of course will eat the tadpoles. Isn't this pretty? This large turnip or oh, it's going to flower this year and it looks gorgeous. Still tastes good too. There's our twirly gig that a friend of ours made for for us. Apple tree, big old apple tree, is flowering. I don't know whether you can see from this angle. Well, the um, hostas are coming up, and the primula, which is also edible and nice in tea. So we're really developing a good edible garden. These pots here are all raspberries and mints and a fennel and a sage, ready for us to give away. If I come over here, this raspberry patch is doing very well. This is actually where I got a lot of the raspberries from because they're growing in the pathway. From here, you can see the beautiful apple tree flowers. And there's been an incredible buzz around this tree. I don't know whether you can hear it. <laughs> so that's our garden. This April. And I'll see you in a month. Thank you for watching.